Hi, and uh, welcome to another review. Um, this time, the Echo Range for 2021. A um, few new shoes to go through, and then two or three others, which I've done in another video, which I just want to touch on again in case nobody's seen that. Um, going to start with the most expensive one, I think, um, that I do, and I think it's the most expensive one that Echo do, and that is the Cool Pro. Gore-Tex um, Biome Cool Pro. Um, I've got it in this grey colour, but it comes in two other colours. I think it's a darker grey and a white. Um, and I'll show you that on the screen, no doubt. Um, this one um, has an ex has the Biome last, which is supposed to get your foot a bit closer to the to the ground, and really designed in the way that a foot works. Um, it has a slightly odd shape to it when you look down. Um, it is all designed to work with the foot and how it properly moves and how it naturally moves when you're walking. Um, there's a few other bits and pieces it's got. It's got the um, Gore-Tex surround technology which the S3 has. That's that one. Um, I've talked about this before. It's a, it's a fantastic um, feature it has got obviously waterproofness completely but it also manages to let the foot completely breathe all the way around so somehow it manages it to do it through the sole unit as well um, you can sort of imagine how it maybe works on this one we've got the air vents in there how it does it on the s3 i don't know but it does say that it's got surround on that as well so you're looking at a shoe which is going to be completely waterproof, waterproof but completely breathable as well and stop your foot from getting hot, which I do suffer from. Um, so it's the Yak leather, it's the softest leather of the lot. Um, you should watch when you buy these that you do buy them that they're snug um, and you don't buy too big a, f a shoe. Um, Often in the shop, you'll find that the, shop, the shoe feels perfect and you buy that one. And what you should really be looking for is a, a fit that's kind of snug so that when the leather gives, as it inevitably does because it's so soft, it's going to be a perfect fit once it's given a little bit. They've designed the sole unit differently to before. You used to do a lot of that kind of sole unit in Echo. This one, I've talked to people, I haven't actually worn it out properly on the grass myself, or I've got a pair coming. And I've talked to customers who've got this and they assure me that the grip is really, really good throughout. They've never noticed any issues with uh, wet grass, going down hills, up hills. It's been designed specifically for golf. When you get the feeling that Echo do things right, this is gonna keep you solid on the ground when you're swinging. And in fact, They've built in quite a few features on this to try and accentuate how, how it works when you're actually swinging. So this section here is a stronger material, firmer, and it's supposed to give you a bit of stability when you're swinging against that. Um, and then you've got softer sort of um, outsole here, and then again, soft, but still a slightly more durable uh, material in the heel and what you used to see a lot when we sold these to begin with the biomes and the and the, the shoes that didn't have spikes in them and looked like something you would just keep on all the time was there was a tendency for people to buy these and then just wear them and wear them and wear them so they would just play golf they would put them on before they went to play golf walk all across the car park and the clubhouse and everything like that and then he'd be out for 18 holes he'd come home and maybe stop at the shops he'd go into tesco or whatever it is and walk around the shops in them and you used to get this occasional complaint that oh they're wearing down a bit at the, at the back edge there you know and they're good apart from that but that's the issue is that they are so comfortable that you have to watch that you don't just wear them as a pair of shoes unless you're happy to do that and just keep buying them. If you were to keep these for golf only, then the soles will last a long, long time. In fact, the upper would look like it needed replaced before the sole did, probably. Um, but if you wear them and wear them and wear them on concrete, then it, they used to wear out a little bit at the heel. 
So Echo have kind of recognized that and they've built in a bit more abrasion resistance here and in the other area that, that wears down a bit more as well. So I think that's a brilliant idea. Um, so that kind of probably is it for them. It just needs me to try them on because I haven't actually tried them on um, properly myself. So let's just see what these feel like. Oh, there is another thing I want to mention um, about the fit, and that is that you'll see on the insole on the, the Echo that it says X, remove, out, remove insole for extra widths. And this is something which I've not tried yet, and I'll put, I'm going to try it just now, just to see what difference there is. So obviously it gives you a bit more width, supposedly, when you uh, need it, and you can take the outsole out, the insole out, and I'm hoping that that still feels soft, because it's an ortholite insole, so it's a good quality um, insole that's in it. That's That feels really good. That feels, I mean, I, I've noticed that the Echo Biome doesn't fit absolutely everybody's foot um, it has a kind of quite a, a noticeable narrow kind of heel area um, and then kind of a, more of a wide forefoot and not everybody takes to it but I found it really good and that really feels so soft but there's still a feeling of support um, in there you know when I swing against that yeah, you can feel the sole unit holding you in place on that front side there, on that left side. Um, so yeah, that does feel really, really good. Um, they're they're pricey, one seven nine, but I think on the we Echo website it quotes something like two ten or something. So that's the insole coming out, um, and then it's extra width. And when you look inside, it's still looks like an insole you know it's not just a bare cardboard looking uh, base to the shoe that you would see on a lot of other shoes yeah there's definitely more room opened up i mean i don't, I don't really need a wide shoe but you can definitely feel that in fact that, i would feel that's too wide for me now so that's a nice feature so if you're worried about oh i need a wide foot i don't know if i can I should order these well then you've got that little safety net of being able to take that out because that's still i didn't feel like i was losing really anything in terms of the softness maybe a fraction but nothing really um and if your foot's wider i think you'd feel it even less i just felt i was, I was floating around in it a wee bit so that's good it looks looks really really good that one um they're a lot of money, but they're they're kind of worth it in a way because they are so comfortable, um, and you are walking a long way in golf, and you and, it, and having tired feet can actually and sore feet can kind of really affect your game more than you realise. Um, so yeah, really impressed with those. Um, not to, you know you've got to like the look of them, and not everybody likes the same shoes as as I like, but I, I like the look of that. Um, and then if we move on to the Biome H4, um, this one is, I mean, if I'm being honest, I didn't, I didn't love this when they showed me it to start with. And I was assured that a lot of the advertising and the promotion was going to be around this one. Um, again, it, I don't think it's a bad looking shoe, just didn't majorly appeal to me. I wasn't sure about all this really big thick sole unit um, and probably preferred the S3 and the Cool Pro a little bit more in terms of the looks but uh, yeah I mean yeah it looks good it's perfectly I could wear it no problem and um, what we've got here we've got um, it's the it's the biome sole unit again like I've just talked to about in the Cool Pro so you've got that feeling of getting your foot low, even though this looks like it's got a really high up sole unit, you're kind of down within it and it's all built around you for stability. Uh, that's what this section here, these big parts here are for, just to hold you in place when you're swinging. And um, so your foot sits actually quite low um, and it's this biome natural motion technology again. Um, slightly different sole unit. Um, 
really feels hard wearing um, and looks very, very grippy actually. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that would be every bit as good as the other ones. Um, the X, uh, X Tensor Invisible technology, so it's got um, a link between the lacing system and this, this, the sole unit. So it's, it's holding you all together. It's all intertwined that when you pull the laces up, you're getting again more stability. So I'll try this one on, see what difference it feels like to the Cool Pro. This hasn't got the Gore-Tex surround. This is that's another difference. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, just check what price that is again. 149, that's roughly where that one's at. Probably a little bit more or less, depending on where you buy it. Um, hopefully not less. Uh, right, okay, so let's see what that feels like. I don't know if it's my imagination where it feels slightly lighter than the other one. Hang on, I'll, I'll go and get my scales. Right, so that actually feels quite similar to the Cool Pro. Maybe, yeah, you could probably say there's maybe a little bit more of a feeling of security in that when you're swinging, you feel really held in place by these in these um, outsole sections. Uh, but it does feel quite not a nice light shoe. So this is a size 42. I actually could get away with a 41, to be honest. But the 42 in that one wasn't over. That could have just about worked. So they're maybe not as big made. That's 409 grams in a 42. And then this one, 42 as well. And that's 444. So the Cool Pro is lighter. So shows what I know about it. I was saying it, I was talking about it being the other one being lighter, and it's not. I mean, there's quite a few shoes lighter than that on the market. Um, some of the Under Armour range I did a review on recently were quite a bit lighter than that. In fact, the Fade SL was something like 296 grams. So if you're looking for a really ultra light shoe, it's maybe not the best thing, but then you're losing. Um, Whenever you go really lightweight, you're losing stability. So if you you sort of feel that that's an important part and you've got hard swing and kind of a lot of motion, you might want to be kept in, in place, then the Echoes are, are probably the ones to look at. Uh, final two then. Well, this one's slight. I, I'll do this one because it's slightly different to last year. With the S3 came out and I, as I say, did a review on that. And this is all the same technology but it's got the BOA system on it. Um, so I'm just going to try that on again, just see what that feels like. I really, really like the look of this one. I think if of the new range, this is probably one I would have gone for um, and might still go for. Um, it's, I just like, I've always quite liked the BOA system. Um, I like the fact that you can, um, when you're round, going around the golf course, you can just give it a little tweak again because inevitably as your foot changes as it's going around, you, you're moving, there's a lot of movement. Just that little twist again, just you feel suddenly more secure again in your feet um, that nothing's gonna slip or give. Um, so comfortable, the S3, really is it. You can, you can feel that three-part sole because that's that's what's called the S3. It's got three different parts to the sole unit. It's got a, I think it's a softer forefoot, it's a mid heel and then firmest in the middle where it's like a, it's almost creating like a old-fashioned shank in a shoe where there's a sort of rigidity to the middle of the shoe which is supposed to it was always in, in hiking boots and things like that, where it would give you, it's supposed to take a little bit of pressure off you walking and actually aid the, the, the act of walking by this firmness here to pressure off as your foot was moving up through and, and forward. So um, you, it, there's little things in it like that technology that Echo put in that people maybe aren't even aware that they're buying into. But all it, all it means in the end is people find Echo really, really light. 
and, and nice and comfortable to walk in. Um, and they don't always need to know what's going on underneath. This has got Gore-Tex round again, so it's, it's um, aerating all around the shoe as well as keeping you completely dry. Um, it does have the extra width removable insole again, and it still looks absolutely fully finished inside when you take it out. Um, and I just like that colour scheme. Let's just have a look at the weight of the S3. So I'll take a 42 to be fair to it, because that's a 41. So get it. 423. So what were we? 423 for S3. 444 for H4. And 411, 410 for Cool Pro. Oh, there's not a lot in it. They're pretty similar. Um, this is a new colour scheme for this year. Quite like that one. Um, wee flash of orange on the back. It's like somebody slightly mispainted it, but it actually gives it a nice little bit of a flash of colour. Um, that's just an S3. And then this colour is probably starting to run out a wee bit more. It still is in the range, as is that one. I thought that was one of the most neutral best colours from last year goes with absolutely anything. Um, and then finally, just wanted to mention um, this shoe here, the Echo uh, Golf Street. Um, I've done a review on this, so I don't want to go too much into it. But surprisingly good shoe, that. Um, only about 109 quid, something like that. Really, really soft leather. Lovely feel to it. And, and a lot better on, maybe, than it looks on the shelf. Sometimes it doesn't jump at you, it doesn't look like there's enough technology involved or whatever. But that is a really, really good shoe, waterproof, very, very comfortable. A um, bit more basic in terms of the support side of it and that sort of thing, it doesn't have all the technologies and doesn't have Gore-Tex. It's Hydromax, it echoes waterproof treatment that they do. So brown as well. And uh, that kind of is it. I know there's one or two other shoes in, in the range, but these are the main ones. Um, again, if I was picking one out of the lot, I would still say S3. Um, if, you're, if you're not sure about and you're not able to try them on and, and you're buying them, I think S3 is your safer bet because it is just more of a, a normal kind of shape and feel to the, the shoe. There's nothing kind of funky about the, the fit. Um, it's pretty pretty standard, whereas the biome, I'd be careful. I think you need to try that on um, in a shop and just to double check. I think if you do, and it is the sort of shoe that really seems to fit your foot, then there's something just again that's even slightly, possibly a, a little tiny notch up on comfort in terms even over S3. Um, that it's got to fit your foot. And that's probably the same with the H4 because it uses the biome technology as well. So hopefully that's enough info. Um, I haven't rambled on too much. Um, any questions or whatever, put them in the comments and I'll try to find out if I don't know. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed and you got this far in the video, then congratulations on um, dedication to the cause and sticking to the end subscribe if you've come this far and do the bell notification so that you hear about any other reviews that I managed to get done. So I think that'll do. Thanks and I'll see you soon in probably another review.